Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, I will show you that how can you display the data in PHP. So, firstly, we will talk about the tables. Means, how can you display the data in a tables in PHP? So, firstly, I will create a table with some So these are the five headings. First one will be the name. I will t use it in a single line. Name, then email. Then after that, uh, I will check the fields. Uh, the third one will be the address. The fourth one will be join date and the last one will be which we will use is uh, you can use grades or you can use both of the columns I will use only marks so I'll write marks so I will go to browser refresh it you can see this is our table and I will give it a border of one and cell padding of uh, 10 I think it's fine now we will show the data from the PHP t uh, MySQL table with the help of PHP means we will show the PHP data inside this table so firstly we will run the select query in the so we will use the PHP tags and we'll write our select query here so I'll write query guys if you don't know about the select query you can watch my previous tutorials so I'll write MySQL query and then I will write select star from and then the name of the table is students record so this is the name of the table Stack star from students record and I will use order by close order by joining date this column date so firstly I'll go to browser and refresh it nothing will be displayed now now guys we'll write the while loop so we'll write while loop and then in between these two brackets we'll create a new variable you can give it any name I'm giving it a name of result then I'll write mysql fetch array then it be in between these brackets we'll write the name of this variable it's query now guys these are uh, this is opening uh, curly bracket and this is closing curly bracket so what I will do I will use a closing PHP tag here and then again I will use a opening PHP tag then I will take this closing PHP tag and call closing curly breaks I will cut it from here and I will place it here means this is opening curly bracket and this is closing curly bracket of file loop and in between these two brackets we will write our HTML and in between the, this HTML we will write our PHP code as well so if, if you will go to browser you will see this problem it is repeating it means if you will check the source code you will, you will see it is repeating the table again and again because we have used a while loop so there are one two three four five six six rows and so that's why it is repeating it six times so what we need to do to get rid of this problem we need to place this code at the correct position so what we will do firstly we will create a new uh, table row and five uh, td tags in stable data tags now in between these two tags we will write the PHP code echo result name and then closing PHP tags in the same way name and then email then after that after email its uh, address then 
joining date and then after that in the last we will use marks. Now refresh again it will display the problem Oops. in undefined text joining date. So it's joining date. I need to correct it, correct it. Refresh you will see again it is not displaying perfectly means it is not displaying it in the correct way. Again we will check the source code reload it you will see it is repeating it again and say again so what we need to do in order to get rid of this problem we need to place this code in the correct position so the correct position will be we need to place this code just before the this t tag and after this t tag means we need to you write the code here so again we will go to browser to reload it now it's fine because what we uh, we are doing now we are just repeating this row so if we will place the code in the pre, uh, if we will place the code before the table it will repeat the table but we don't want to repeat the table we just want to repeat this row this row so that's why we are placing this while loop this code just before the t this opening t attack and closing this while loop after this t attack means only this row is repeating guys this was about the table then, then that how the data in a table should be displayed now we will talk about the unordered list means in this tutorial we will talk about unordered list select list and we will talk about the radio buttons check boxes and uh, text boxes so now we will not remove this code we will just remove this uh, table every uh, means we will just remove the table. Now we will go to browser refresh, nothing will be displayed. Now we will use unordered list. Suppose in the same way as if uh, we were uh, we were doing in the table, if I'll place the code here, suppose I want to display something in the list item. Result name refresh you can see but if we will check the source code you will see it is repeating the ul tag means it is repeating the unordered list means this is not right so in the same way we need to place this code at the correct position means we just need to repeat this li tag no this not this ul tag so we will place this code just before the li tag and we'll close the this just after the li tag so now if I will reload it you will see it is perfect it's showing in a perfect way Rishabh, Nit, Namit, Kamran, Nathan, Bob, Rohit now we will talk about the select list means how can you display the data in a select list so now again I will remove this code another list and then another list now we will talk about the select list select list so again if I'll place this code here just before the select list and if I'll close this after it after the select list now you will see PHP oops, opening PHP tag then closing PHP tag echo result name reload it you can see it is repeating the select list if we will check the source code if we will reload it you can see you will see it will re it is repeating the select list so means it is not right again we need to place it in the right location just before the option because we need to repeat the options then I will close it up to the options tag now we will reload it you can see it is showing the data in the select list and in the same way if you will check the source code you can see now guys you need to write some data in the value field as well so what you need to do you need to just copy this and place it inside this value guys if you are using double quotes outside then you need to use single quotes here again we will reload it you can see the value as well it is displaying the value as well 
value Namit Kamran Nathan. You can see now, guys. We will talk about that. How can you how should you should how can you display the data in checkbox and ready buttons? Again, I will remove this select list now. We will talk right input type checkbox and we write value equal to PHP echo result closing PHP tag and we write name refresh you can see it is just displaying the checkboxes so we need to write it here as well again I will use be a tag here at the end so refresh you can see Rishabh Namit Kamran Nathan and if you will check the source code reload it you can see input type checkbox value equal to Rishabh means value equal to this it this is repaying uh, sorry it is showing uh, the value and then after that it is showing the content here this is the content after that be a tag in the same way you need you can use a radio button so uh, write input type radio reload it you can see input type radio then same way it will work you can see radio buttons so if you want to select only one radio button you can you know, you know that we need to name name equal to uh, student name so it will display select only one radio button at a time because uh, radio bus you know that radio buttons are used to select only one record but on the other hand checkboxes are used to select uh, multiple uh, data at a same time now we will talk about the input type of text means how the it will display inside a text box input type text so in the value we will write the PHP code guys please ensure that you uh, you have uh, written your query just before using this HTML input type text box means you have written this uh, query correctly echo result name refresh so we will use the where close here where name equal to Rishabh. See only it will display the data of Rishabh. Means it will display. So guys, in the next video, I will show you that how can you show the data with the help of a search text box. Means user will write some that uh, enter some uh, parameter inside a, t a search text box. Then we will uh, retrieve the data with the help of that search search query. So guys, this was about uh, that. How can you display the data? inside a table or another list in PHP. So guys, if you still have any question, you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below. So thanks for watching this video guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos. Let's see in the next tutorial.